Here we got Vincenzo Nibali doing some crazy descending at in Lombardia 2015. And you can see he attacks on the downhill. And this isn't very common in pro cycling where guys attack on the downhill just because it's more difficult to get away. With the exception being that you have to be a great descender and it's got to be a pretty technical descent if you really want to put some time in. And Vincenzo Nimali is one of those amazing descenders, as you can see here. This is the first time I've seen the aero tuck on the top tube being taken to a new level with someone putting their hands on the center of the handlebars right there on the stem. And here you can see the racing line is great. It takes it right on the outside into the apex of the corner on the inside and then right back to the outside, almost touching the barrier. Three key elements to descending really fast is the racing line that you take, which the guys just demonstrated here, breaking as late as possible, and lowering your center of gravity so that you can turn more aggressively. Descending in the wet is a little bit different from descending in the dry, because the predominant brake that you use in the wet is the rear brake, and in the dry it's more the front brake. If you brake too hard with the front brake in the wet, then your front wheel is going to wash out and you're going to end up on the tarmac. Here you can clearly see that if you want to be a successful professional cyclist, you have to be willing to put it all on the line. You have to be willing to die if you want to win. And you have to be absolutely maniacal like Vincenzo is. Here you can see again what it takes. He's pretty much touching the barrier with his knee as he comes out of that corner. Now even though it isn't pragmatic to descend like this on your everyday ride, it can save you a lot of time in the hospital and medical bills and broken bones if you just learn how to descend properly and watching these guys go downhill is the best way to do that. And no, I don't recommend sitting on your top tube unless you've had quite a lot of racing experience. And then you can see again, he's nearly into the red tape of those barriers and that's how hard you have to take these corners just to open up a small gap on the downhill, 8 seconds. When going through a corner you always want to lean out the inside leg towards the apex of the corner and put the outside leg at the 6 o'clock position on the pedal stroke. This is the section of the descent where things get really hectic as Vincenzo is hitting speeds in excess of 90 kilometers per hour. It's absolutely spectacular to watch this but at the same time it's quite nerve-wracking. Another tip for not only descending faster but also staying safer is to put 28mm tires on your wheels. Another thing that I found helps you to descend incredibly fast is to sprint out of a corner and then when you reach 60 k's an hour, you just sit on the top tube and let gravity do the rest. Obviously, this is something for more advanced riders, so if you're a noob, just take it easy on the downhill and just use the correct technique to go around the corner. My new mantra is take it easy on the downhill or take it easy in hospital. So that's it for this video. Please leave the comments down below, like or dislike, and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of the crazy descending.